Hi, yeah, it's really good to be with you. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for having me into your home uh, to, to share a cup of tea together. Um, I suppose since we were last together, uh, everything's, everything's changed really. Um, we're all spending a lot more time at home. And um, obviously there's been really difficult parts of that. There's been good bits as well. Um, I don't know, but yeah, I, I find I'm doing everything a bit more deliberately. So I'm being more deliberate about the time I spend with the kids. So um, Benjamin is four and Lily's one. And I have just loved pushing them on the swing. That's been one of my favourite things to do, is just to spend time doing that and uh, not to rush away, not to feel like I have to rush off and... Um, drive off somewhere and be somewhere else. I can just be present and enjoy uh, Lily shouting and cheering on, on the swing, especially when her brother pushes her. And yeah, I think current circumstances have just made me grateful for a whole lot of things that I'd taken for granted before. I'm so grateful that we have that swing. I'm so grateful that we have that garden, which you know I always knew was good, but I'm really like savouring it now I think is the best way to describe it really savouring uh, how good it is that we have that space to be in together as, as family um, savouring my cups of tea more uh, appreciating the goodness I'm definitely a cup of tea person love a cup of tea it's my fuel um, but when it's your fuel you can start to take it for granted but I've really enjoyed um, each cup this is my favourite mug um, at the moment and um, yeah finding myself appreciating the little things um, and it's, it's making me think of something a friend said to me once um, a friend always asks good questions and he said Do you know we're made the experience God's good world you know um, God gave us taste buds God gave us the ability to appreciate beauty uh, we don't need that like we don't need that for our survival but we have that so that we can enjoy creation which is an amazing thing anyway my friend said um, say I've got some eggs for breakfast and um, these are the most amazing eggs that I've ever had for breakfast there's a bit of Tabasco on them or chives or whatever. I don't know what he's done with them. But these eggs are absolutely amazing. I'm really appreciate, really savouring this experience. Why can't that be as profound an experience of God as um, worshipping God with other people in church? Um and he's right. Like they're different things. They're different. You know, connecting with God in a group of people um, is something different from a moment of connection with God by yourself. But he was absolutely right. Enjoying your eggs for breakfast can be a profound moment of connection with God, where you are, uh, you're thankful. For God's good creation, you're thankful for God's provision. You're thankful that God made you able to taste and to sense and to enjoy. And it's brilliant that at a time like this, we can start to kind of slow down and pay attention to flavours and textures and colours and experiences. All the, the richness of life in the middle of everything else, you know, in the middle of the fear and the discomfort and everything else that's going on, we can have these profound moments of connection. And it's appropriate that that's happening at a time when uh, worshipping together does look different. We're doing it online if we're able to do it at all. We often can't see one another. We can maybe see whoever's participating on the screen. Um, so the ways that we connect with God have changed. Um, the things we usually associate as, oh, that's the place where I do my connecting with God. Well, that's been taken away. 
Um, and God is maybe pointing us to more of the ordinary, everyday ways that we can experience God, that we can enjoy God. Um, and that's brilliant because if we learn this now, if I learn to um, give thanks to God and appreciate God through my cup of tea, um, and I'm, I'm doing that five or six times a day at the minute, then um, that's more connection with God, that's more praise, that's more worship, that's more enjoyment of life and enjoyment of God than I'm going to experience. And if I learn that now, then I'm going to take that forward uh, when things start to get more back to normal. Um, reminds me of the psalm, um, Psalm 148, which on a slightly similar thing, slightly similar theme, talks about how everything is worshipping God, all creation. That includes your eggs in the morning, that includes um, your pet dog, that includes everything. Listen, it says, praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights above. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his heavenly hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For at his command they were created and he established them forever and ever. He issued a decree that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea creatures and all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do his bidding, you mountains and hills, fruit trees and cedars, wild animals, all cattle, small creatures, flying birds, kings of the earth and nations, you princes and rulers on the earth, young men and women, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens, and he's raised up for his people a horn to pray to the praise of all his faithful servants of Israel, the people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. I love it. I love it. Love to pray for you. Lord, I just want to thank you for my brothers and sisters who are uh, joining me for this cup of tea today. And Lord, I, pre- uh, I, I pray that we would all learn to, um, to find you and to find enjoyment in the little things that we've taken for granted. Lord, may the appreciation of a cup of tea or eggs for breakfast be a point of connection with you, a point where we savour every good thing you've given us a point uh, a point where we enjoy you and we find our relationship with you amen amen thanks for joining me i'll see you again soon